everybody, welcome back to another issue of Audio Hunt. I'm Peter, and as I've told you in the past, I like used sound gear bought for a good buy, often picked up at online auctions. And the case today, I got this on a Kijiji purchase. These are floor monitors used by musicians everywhere. They're called wedges because they, they sit on the floor and point up so a musician or a vocalist can hear themselves over top all the other sounds that are going around them on stage. So when I saw a pair of these for 50 bucks, okay, remember I like 20 to 30 dollar purchases, so 25 bucks a piece, I knew they weren't going to be great at that price. They were covered in dust. Everything had just fallen into them. The horns were so dirty, I took them out and actually take the drivers off the back, I'll show you that in a minute, and put them into a bath of warm soapy water in the laundry tub and actually vacuumed all the dust off the woofer. When it came to the outside of the boxes, I took the attachment that does uh, your upholstery from your steam cleaner and went over them not once but twice. They really were that dirty. A couple of the features you want to look for is a sturdy construction, good strong grill to keep the components protected. It's always important. On these speakers, being a bit older, the input jacks are right over here. They're quarter inch. Now that's how things used to be done. Right next to that you can see what's called a speak-on jack. That's a newer version of the same thing. A speak-on simply comes in and rotates and locks in place. But both jacks, regardless quarter inch or speak-on, simply have two connection points that those jacks are holding in place. And that is the plus and the minus. That's all that's coming into these speakers is a plus and a minus. So don't be worried about the different jacks. You can always find a jack to meet the output demands of your amplifier that's going to work properly with the inputs of these wedges or any other type of full range speaker. They've got a low end woofer driver in them and also in most cases a horn to put out high frequencies so they're a self-contained full range speaker system. And now that I've got them looking pretty good I'm happy with the sound of them because they're just a one-stop shop for small PA work. Like a lot of speakers that have horns in them, compression drivers we call them, this is different than your home tweeter. Horns, if you took them out of the cabinet, look sort of like this. They come in two parts. Compression driver on the back. That's basically a magnet and it has a small diaphragm that wiggles really fast and puts out high frequencies. And to shape those frequencies, you have a horn in the front, which helps direct the frequencies out in a way in a controlled pattern from the driver. And this is where all the business happens, right inside here. There's a little diaphragm across there that wiggles really quickly and puts out high frequency sounds. Now, this particular one is blown, but Fortunately, for the owners of compression driver horns like this, which many wedges and other two-way systems are in a semi-pro or pro environment, you can replace those diaphragms very simply. And I just want to show you how it's done with this particular driver. The two terminals, just like on any speaker, it's going to be plus and minus. You have to have a back and forth to make the wiggle, and that's where the sound comes from. The secret reveals itself when you pull the backing plate off. And this is where you start to see the parts that can be replaced. This diaphragm right here is a little thing that does the wiggle. And the wiggle is what gives you all your compression in the air, which gives you your sound. It's really the only moving part you have is that little diaphragm. This one is blown, but it's very simple just to pop out just like that. And then it screws right back onto the horn and you're good to go again. So the parts are usually pretty easy to find. They're not that expensive because horns are very, very commonly used and they're coming back more and more commonly in home audio systems now just because they work so well. What's also great about these speakers is that as well as being shaped to sit on the floor and point up, they've also got holes in the bottom so they can be mounted on poles. That's really handy for getting over the tops of people so the high frequencies don't get lost and, and absorbed by bodies in a crowd. They'll get over top of people's heads so they can travel further and make it right to the back of the room. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to me. I really appreciate it. Stick around. Next week, I'll be having another great episode of Audio Hunt with some more dusty finds. Thanks a lot.